Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kuei, joined by Achara the Kirk. Hi. And we're looking at mutton biryani. Layered mutton biryani recipe cooking in village. Goat biryani cooking and eating. Mmm. Jabby Kuei is hungry. This is from Village Cooking Channel, the YouTube channel. So if you like the video we're about to watch, whether it's uh, while we're watching it, right at the beginning of us watching it, at the end of us watching it, just hit that pause button and head over to their channel and subscribe to help them get to uh, 9 million subscribers. So uh, they're currently at 8.21 as of this recording. And then you can come back to our video and uh, listen to our discussion of said video. Mm -hmm. So here we go. <laughs> Oh wow, whoa. That's a serious chopping block. That's a whole lot of goat. I wonder if the audio is coming right off of their camera, cause like. That looks really fresh. Uh oh. Wow. Wow. Ooh. What? What is that? Oh boy. Uh, I cannot wait to get past this meat stuff because uh, I'm not handling, I'm not handling it very well. No. Like, even when I'm cooking chicken, after a while, I, I just... You don't like it. I don't like t yeah, dealing Touching with it after it. a while, and that's just one chicken. This is like, a lot. What's that, like, how many goats? Oh, they washed it, good. That's so much food. Well, it's not just for one person, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, I like the uncle. Mutton meat. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of mutton. I mean, this might be an unpopular opinion, but. The camera's getting right in there on yeah. the meat. Yeah. Oh, it's too much for you? A bit. Okay, what now I'm gonna cover oh, it up. Curd. Oh, they're putting yogurt. What is this? Lemon juice. Okay. Oh, oh, that probably cuts a lot of the strong flavor from the mutton as well. Maybe. Well, then why do you want mutton if you want to cut the flavor? Well, I don't know. I find like lamb and stuff and and mutton like. The, the oh, look at all the spices. Yeah, that's what I was missing. I couldn't find any green cardamom pods. Wow. The, that's that's how you do it. How many people are crying? Oh, he didn't show. Is that the garlic? Wow. That's a lot. I wanna know how they did the sound on this. It's like kinda ASMR, -y, right? Well, it's Oh wow, look at The sound is it's rejecting atmosphere. Most of what you hear is what you're seeing. And so yeah. I'm like, how did they do that? Is it just, like, is it just a really good onboard mic? Or is it like someone with a boom pole? Like, how are they doing that? Oh, is that how brown I should have got my onions? Okay, I'm learning. It's caramelized. I'm learning. That's like, that's that's past caramelized. That's brown. Depends who you're talking to. Oh, look at that. Big old pot. What, uncle? Coconut oil. Oh, that's a lot. Is it, oh, he's heating it? Oh, ghee. Okay, I was wondering if there's gonna be any ghee in there. I love him, he's so happy! Oh, fry them? They know all their proportions. Like, that looks... Oh, so much! Oh my god, mouth watering. Okay, that looks similar to kind of the level I got. Oh, so many chilies! 
Oh yeah. Aracha inji pundi. Oh, that's a lot. Takkade. Aracha manja jande. What what? And ground turmeric oh, paste. Oh, turmeric paste. Okay. What is this one? And ground chili paste. Chili. Oh, don't put that. Don't put your fingers and your eyes after that, though. Oh, here comes the mutton. Where's the rice? Oh. Oh, this, this is very different from the one that we made. It feels a lot more saucy. The camera's way too close to the action. <laughs> <laughs> is it like freaking you it's, out? It's, a, it's just a bit, it's just really close. Biryani masala, okay. Oh, so much, yes, get that flavor. I think it's just because of the meat. Oh, and I, the I, I, I love meat as much as the next person. It's just like, whoa. What? Oh, just water? Okay. Rice. Rice. Crystal oh, crystal salt. salt. Okay. It's looking more tantalizing now. It's looking better to you now? Yeah. They have some interesting lenses. They're able to get like right in on the, on the action. Yeah. How long have they been cooking that? Oh my God, I want to smell it. <laughs> Oh, the meat is just crumbling. Now what? We take it off the fire. Just I hope no one walks into that. <laughs> is it rice time now? <laughs> More spices. Oh, that's, that's a, a lot. lot of saffron. Wow. Jeez. That's a shit ton of rice. <laughs> Are you gonna wash the rice? That's what he's doing. He's cleaning yeah. it. Uncle Roger says. I'm surprised so. he's not putting his hand in front of the to guard the rice from falling out. But I guess it's so heavy. <laughs> See, I'm so neurotic. I have to get all of those little pieces of rice. Oh yeah, it's coming. Every last. Oh. What? So I wonder why the subtitles are late. Okay. Why doesn't he do it at the same time? It's a choice. Oh, it feels so calm. Oh yeah, you gotta get it when it's like half cooked. Drain it. So why the basket? It's to, it's like a colander. Oh, I see. It's my when my mom makes sticky rice, she has a similar thing. Gotcha. Too. Uh, oh, then you layer it. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! You know my. what this video reminds me of is those videos with those guys who make those like luxury uh, pool houses inside of a day. Oh, I've never you know what I'm seen about? that. No. It's like two dudes who just like. In the middle of a forest, we'll just make this like luxury class pool thing somehow. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh. It's very exciting. Oh yeah. Put the key on top. More meat. That looks really nice. So then you cook it some more, right? Oh. It's beautiful. So many layers! I mean, they did make a lot of food. I wonder how much this feeds. Two people. <laughs> one jabby and one achara. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a, that's that's a, a lot. That, that looks like it, it would feed at least 20 people. Yeah, I mean, yeah, literally the whole village, I guess. Or... These are intense close-ups, like this yeah. very shallow depth of field. Um, I'm wondering what they shot this with. My, my first guess would be like a cannon. 
with Ooh. with a uh, what do you call it? A macro lens of some kind. Like if they shot it on the Canon R, for instance, they could use the 35 millimeter uh -huh. RF macro lens. Oh wow! Oh, this is legit. Look at that. They're heating it from the top and the bottom with the charcoal. That's so cool. What is this? Can we eat it? Oh. How long for? It seems probably a long time. Look at the banana leaf. You get that. What does a banana leaf do? It just holds it down, I guess, and maybe it imparts some flavor as well. Oh my god. I don't even like mutton, but that looks really good. Like, I would try it. I'd definitely try it. That looks really tasty. Yeah, this is definitely a specialty lens because it's getting really close to stuff. Otherwise, it's just zoomed in more. Oof. Like, but Oof. Oh, and you get to eat it on the um. You have eggs too. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's yummy. Yeah. Um, given that the camera has not zoomed in or out, that the camera is just physically moving in and out, I'm think guessing. It's a prime? I think it's a prime. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, extra, extra curry. Oof. What is that? Oh, they're just oh. going to eat. Oh, they're all sharing together. Yeah, it's communal. It's lovely. See, that's that's very foreign to Americans. Yeah. We don't do that here. Do, don't there used share to, food. Yeah. Well, not like that. There, yeah. there used to be a restaurant here where you basically kind of did that. Um, but, but that restaurant doesn't, in Hollywood, it's not there anymore. So asmr -y. <laughs> right. Oh my god, I feel like I have to show this video to my mom. Uh, she would lose it. She'd love this. Oh yeah, get that marrow. Ugh. What's that? Bone it's marrow? A bone, yeah. Oh. It's good. It's good. Oh, are they feeding everyone now? Oh, that's nice. Is that a chutney then? Is that, that I mistakenly thought was a curry sauce? Are you enjoying the food? Aww. So they're feeding the elderly? That's really nice. Oh, they have a number too. That's cool. Oh, that's so sweet. That's really cool. That's really great. I mean, I think that's such a great way to kind of bring awareness to what they're doing, but they're doing it in like a really, just a really nice aesthetic way. Like this channel has been on my radar for a while now. And then I saw some people on our streams saying, oh, you ought to check them out and stuff. And I'd, I'd kind of watch some of their stuff part way through. And I thought it was really interesting. Just, just the sheer quantity of food that they're cooking. I like it even more knowing that, you know, they're doing that and they're doing it for community and for like, you know, old people who, you know, maybe they don't have families that can give them, you know, square meals every day. And so it's just really lovely that they're doing that and also kind of providing us with entertainment right. as well. <laughs> it's wild. Yeah, I would really like to know what they shot this with. I'm stuck on the technical thing. Like I, I would love to know because the focus was sort of tripping up sometimes. And I could tell that the way the focus was responding, someone was touching a focus screen of some kind because it was like snapping focus. It wasn't someone dialing it. You can tell the difference, generally speaking, between someone physically focusing and someone hitting a screen and it automatically. That's why they have this feature in cameras now where you can slow down the responsiveness so it feels more human in terms of transitioning from one focal plane to another. It was shot really well and the sound was really good. And so I was like, wow, this is actually pretty well produced. Like you're getting right in there for people who are like, 
food lovers. Yeah. I like you're getting right in there on the food and it's really, really close. So that's why I was guessing it might be 35 millimeter RF uh, zoom. Like this right here is a, a Canon R5 and this is the RF50. It's not a close up lens, but it, it looks similar to the lens I'm talking about where you can like get in tight, like within inches of something and it'll still focus really, really well. It's kind of mind blowing when I first saw this that it's in a village and I suppose the no, but you're just like blowing past what I said. Okay, no, go ahead. but I was gonna say it's kind of related to what you're saying okay. because when I first saw this, I was like, oh, it's in a village, and I really wasn't expecting the quality to be that good, just because I made an assumption about what people who live in a village like that might have access to. I mean, I don't know if it's someone else who's come in and been like, oh, we can make a cool channel with all the stuff that you're doing and mm -hmm. I have gear and let me help you guys or if they just kind of figured it out, but mm -hmm. they're doing a really great job. I was wondering if it was a Sony camera because Sony's are very popular right now. Like the Sony A7S II would be the one that I thought I would have thought they would have gone with depending on when this came out. Like this must have come out a while ago, right? May 6th, 2020, okay, well, still. The Canon R5 wasn't out yet. So you had the Canon R and the A7S II. Those are your two major options, unless you're using something way more professional, which is way more heavy as well. And I, I wouldn't imagine you'd want to be bringing that around in a village in mm -hmm. India. Like you'd want something lighter that's mobile. You can keep inside your backpack so that when you get to your destination to shoot, you're not unloading a shit ton of gear. Everything is small and simple. I would imagine that it would either be the Canon R or the Sony a7S II, but I can't think of any Sony lenses off the top of my head that are nice close-up lenses to get in tight like that. The only way that it would be a Sony is if it was like some other off-brand lens I don't know about, like a Sigma or a Tamron or something like that. Right. This is stuff that no one cares about except for me. I'm just like curious about it because I'm like, wow, how they do that? Like that, that's what I'm asking myself the entire time. Like, how did they do this? How did they make it sound that good? Because the sound quality was on point. I pay attention to all those nuances. Even someone in the comments was like, this is the best looking cooking video I've ever seen. Yeah. yeah it's just, you know, you're in a village and you're getting high rejection of unwanted atmosphere. You're getting just the thing that you're looking at. You know, I would imagine out there, you've got children, you've got people, you've got birds, yeah. all kinds of animal noises, you know, wind, and somehow all you heard was like the chopping of the onions, you know? It's like- and the sizzling of the onions and the oil. Yeah, I was I was actually quite impressed with all the, the technical side of this. The meat stuff in the beginning was just, I almost hit the pause button on the video and just like quit. I'm not even joking. I almost stopped. I almost stopped the video and was gonna be like, Achara, I can't do this one. You have to do it by yourself. Because like, for some reason, like just seeing that volume of raw meat, I'm like, something's not feeling right in my tummy. And like, I don't normally feel that way. But like whenever I'm handling chicken, like raw meat myself, it just gets to be a bit much after a while when I'm trying to cut the fat off and whatnot. I'm like, all right. Power through this, we'll get through this. I think it's almost like this thing where when you live in the West, you are not used to seeing the animals look kind of the way animals look when you just... When you receive the food. Yeah, when you hunt them when, or when you kill them. And so... Well, yeah, when I get a chicken, breast... It's a, it's it, a chicken breast. It's it, not connected to a chicken. Yeah, you're not seeing how this all... Yeah. Ties together. I think there's there's something really refreshing about seeing, you know, this village style of cooking, which is literally like, this is a goat. We yeah. have an entire goat. And even for me- And seeing the whole process. Yeah, seeing the whole process. Like I'm kind of used to that, but even seeing a goat, cause I think goats are kind of cute. I was like, oh, but also, yeah. you know. It's not my first time seeing that, you know, that kind of, I mean, I watched a Michael Moore documentary called Roger and Me and this lady was making rabbit meat to get by and I watched her kill a rabbit and turn it into meat. And I was like, oh God, oh. And it's just like, it's it's hard for me to see that stuff. I like the abstraction. I like the ignorance. Right, <laughs> you know? no, I think, I think a lot of people do. I really enjoyed the guys in the video. Like their enthusiasm was infectious. Like I didn't really understand everything that they were saying, obviously, but it's just so clear that they're super passionate about the food. They're really happy. Yeah. And it was just so much fun watching them. And I was saying, I would love to show this to my mom because she genuinely loves watching food videos. Like mm -hmm. she, her favorite YouTubers, she spends a lot of time on YouTube, my mom, but she loves watching these Thai YouTubers who literally just shoot themselves eating like some thumb and all my mom's favorite foods and she's like oh, I love it I love the sound when they were like 
Oh my god, this video. My mom would just lose her mind. She'd be yeah. like, oh, that looks so delicious, and they're having so much fun eating it. The restaurant uh, I was thinking of is uh, that used to be in Hollywood was a, a Moroccan restaurant. And so what they would do is they just have this giant table where they put all the food. And so everyone would just sort of eat off that table mm. together. It was a communal meal. It goes against everything I've been conditioned to do. Right. You know, I'm conditioned to, you have your own plate, you eat with a knife and fork or a spoon. Unless it's a burger, unless it's like a food that is a hand food, you generally don't touch your food. Like yeah. hamburgers, french fries, stuff like that, a sandwich, that stuff, or, or a pizza. Like there are hand foods that we eat as Americans, but most of the time you're using a knife and fork or a spoon and fork or something like that, and you don't want to be touching your food. And so the idea of touching your rice and eating it is something very foreign to me that I still yeah. have yet to do. Even to me. I mean, yeah, sometimes in Thai food, like where my mom's from in the northeast of Thailand, there are certain things that you would eat with sticky rice, and I'm okay with that. But like, I went on a modeling shoot in Kuala Lumpur when I was a teenager. Obviously, like there are loads of Indians that live in Malaysia, and one of the restaurants that we were taken to was with this really awesome Indian restaurant. I, I think it was hands down some of the best Indian food I'd ever had. Everyone was just eating with their hands. Yeah. And I was like, Whew. Yeah, that goes against what you I'm do. Not, I'm not prepared to do this yet. Right. Just because I have a fear of getting my fingers like saucy. I won't even eat ribs in a restaurant with my hands. I will, totally. Certain with foods, a bib. I guess. With a bib. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, it feels free, though, to do it. Yeah, but the thing that they were doing where they're all communal, they have the communal thing of eating together off the same leaf. Yeah. Like, I won't even do that with my brother. <laughs> You know, I, I have to have my own plate. I don't. I think that, that might just be a very Western American yeah, thing because I, I, so. need, I need to have my own plate. I don't know what you want to call it, whether it's ignorance or conditioning or whatever. Like I'm just not used to that sort of that style of eating. I mean, maybe I could get used to it. Nevertheless, like it was interesting to watch because you know you've seen this whole process and how it goes from start to finish. Yeah. Even though I was like uh, having a hard time with the first minute of the video, even the first few minutes of the video, because sometimes it got really close and I was like, whoa. <laughs> That's really close to the food. Even though I was having a hard time sometimes, I enjoyed seeing it come to its final finality, to its like uh, final point, where it's like, oh, you know, it got to its destination. It's and everything. lovely. You know, it was, yeah, it was nice. I, and I, seeing and seeing what they were doing with it, where they're feeding all these people, that was pretty cool too. Yeah, because we were wondering the whole time, like, where's it going? That's a lot of food. Right. But it's nice to know that it's going to take I, care of people. I guess our guess was way under count. It was like a lot more than 20 people. Yeah. Well, I said 20, so. It's probably 20 Americans. <laughs> or, or, or eight Texans. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Village Cooking Channel and uh, you know give the original video an upvote. Yeah. For whatever reason, this has 48,000 downvotes. I have no idea why. I'd love to know from you guys, maybe if you have a guess, but it's got 520,000 upvotes, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, give them a subscribe. Give this channel a, a subscribe as well. I'm Jabby Kuei. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.